Hi everyone, welcome to this video. I'm going to talk a bit about timelines today. So my guides are always showing me t timelines as a metro map. So I will see all these different lines on this map in different colors and they will represent one timeline each. And I think that's a very good visual and it makes it very clear when they're talking about uh, different timelines and they're like showing me this in this metro map. Then what happened four, five weeks ago, suddenly all the lines turned orange. I was like, why is that? Like, why is all this suddenly orange? And the next day the same, and the third day the same, next day again the same, and it continued. And I was like, why is this? And then it was, you know, different nuances of the color orange. And how they also showed me was like first it was only like two, three of the lines turning orange and then like a bit more and a bit more and a bit more until all of them were orange. And they showed me that when they are all the same color, that's when we are in a portal, for example. So there's a lot of energy coming in and it's easier for us. So it like how we perceive it is that or it's like it's it's not such a big difference between them as we normally will perceive it as or it's easier to switch because it's like the gap is like they're more similar even though they're not it's easier to make that jump or to make that shift into another timeline when we are in these portals. I was like, okay, that makes sense. And then some of the lines start to become like not continuous lines, but like just these dots and like, and then they would disappear. And the two lines that were above and below on the, on the, the metro map, would be brighter in color. And I explained that this is when your frequency is changing. There are timelines that will go away and there will be new ones coming up. So I would see like the color getting less and less vibrant and like lighter and lighter until it got this not continuous line and then it would disappear. And it would be the opposite when there's a new timeline coming up. And this could happen like anywhere in the in the map. And I was like, yeah, that makes sense as well. Like this is really interesting. And it continues. So after a couple of weeks, I was really contemplating like why is this still all orange? Like why isn't it changing? Like why why are they using that color? And as I was sitting there, they came in and I said this is because you connect orange to the sacral chakra and what we want to say about this is that what is now the most important to know about the timelines and the power you have to actually change the timeline is creation you actually have to create it yourself it's not something that just happens. So when, for example, in a portal, all this energy is coming in or you've been like through a big shift yourself and you can shift timelines more easily, it is still a power we have ourselves and we have to create that from within. And they said that during all those, I think it was like, almost like four weeks it was mostly just orange and they said that it's because right now the the really one most important thing to focus on in order to be able to shift timeline is creation you have to create that shift yourself you have to become aware 
you have to become conscious of what's needed where you want to go and you have to you have to do it you have to create it you have to like you have to kind of birth that jump in a, in a way then last week so probably around a week and a half ago it was still orange and then suddenly a day it started to turn blue I was like this is interesting and the next day all of the lines on this metro map was blue I was like okay I'm just going to observe which I do when they give me visuals uh, like that they can come like at any time uh, like seemingly out of nowhere and I'm just like observing what I'm getting and then it continued so after that for the last one and a half week approximately it has been all blue and they have now explained that this is because now in in this time and the time coming the most important thing I mean it's always a, a complexity or like a different things that of course are are important in order to do the like to to make a shift uh, on on the timeline you're on but I said that the, the really most important thing to focus on now is the throat chakra it's speaking your truth that's why it's blue and it's going to be like that for a while now I don't know if they will show me different things or when it will be some shifts or more things I will explain of course but they're showing me that this is really really important now and in the coming weeks so what they also told me today uh, when they guided me to do this video was to really put emphasis on that when we are speaking our truth it is from it is doing it from a point of our own resonance our own truth and without the need of convincing anybody uh, and without having to make anyone else wrong in order to feel that our truth is right because that's that comes from that duality that we are shifting um, so what happens if if I go out and I speak my truth from a point of resistance to someone else's truth it will be a different frequency than if I'm just standing in my own sovereign field speaking my truth and the ones that resonate with it will take it the ones that don't maybe I planted the seed maybe I I haven't but that's not my responsibility what is really important is that we speak our truth because in that way we will create a domino effect and the most important thing they are saying now uh, is that this makes um, or it gives allowance to other people to speaking their truth when they see a bigger variety of, of expression I know people having different opinions having different ways to do something having different ways to express like speaking your truth doesn't have to be like you know going out voicing something it can be through writing it can be through a way of living like living your truth um but it's it's the expression um so be aware of like how you're doing this in what way you are um you are speaking your truth and 
they're like keeping reminding us that when it comes from a place of okay so this is my truth that must mean that they are wrong and they are wrong and they are wrong that comes from the belief system of right and wrong and as we have seen many times most of us there are like there is a huge specter and one truth doesn't need to mean that another truth is like one one truth or being right for someone doesn't have to make another one wrong um, and I say that in the things that are going to play out in society this may seem a bit too easy uh, because it's so much more complex but I say that that's why like because it is so complex and because it's so dense some of the things that are coming up um, and that we're going to see it is that like that's really why we have to speak our truth that's why we have to be aware of whether we are actually creating separation or unity in the way we speak our truth and if we're coming from a place of trying to convince someone or making someone else wrong we are not really opening up for reflection and for planting a seed and that's what we want to do we want to give others allowance to start thinking out of their out of the box the more voices that will come out the more variety people will see and the more we will help the frequency rise in a way that is not in this big separation though the separation is what we're going to see it is about being aware of how to build a bridge and that ties in with our individual paths and how we now are going to um, be able to make shifts in time in our own timelines it is speaking our truth so remember that you're always in charge of what you like which timeline you're on even though it many times won't feel like it but it's really about taking that power back and becoming aware of what timelines we are on and what we want to be, or change into so we have to have the intention we have to actually make the choice and we have to to do it that's in our power so speak your truth and i hope you are doing well let me know in the comments if you uh, have any questions or any comments on this video i would love to hear from you and please share if you know someone who can have help from this or who will resonate with this message and i'll see you in the next video Thank you for watching. Bye bye.